Today, Mr. Holiday is going to share with you one of his secret recipes. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's homemade grenadine. Homemade grenadine is used in many of my signature and themed cocktails and is essential to any good mixology. Now you may be saying to yourself, I know what grenadine is. I have some of it in the refrigerator. It's that red liquid with the cherries. Or we have grenadine at my local market. It's not that expensive. It's right around where the soda is and it says it's grenadine. Well, that's not real grenadine. It's filled with artificial flavor, artificial color, and corn syrup. Today, we're gonna to make the real thing. So the base of real grenadine is 100% pomegranate juice with no sugar added. That is added to a pot and brought to a boil. Once it is brought to a boil, sugar is added, fresh vanilla bean, orange or lemon zest. I chose lemon zest today as well as a few small spoonfuls of orange blossom water. Now I'm sure you're saying to yourself right now, oh, isn't that Mr. Holiday fancy with orange blossom water? Well, it makes all the difference in the world and it's easy to get. You can find it at any Mediterranean market or you can order it on Amazon. Now there's two additional ingredients that I use in my grenadine and that's hibiscus flowers. Those are added during the boiling process and I allow them to steep and also be used to help enrich the flavor as we reduce the mixture as it boils down. Finally, one shot of vodka is added to the grenadine so that it can have a shelf life of three to four months. This is essential. That way you don't have to keep it in the refrigerator and you can ensure that your product is fresh and tasty at all times. So let's get started. Now that your grenadine is boiling, it's time to add the fresh vanilla bean. If you've never used a fresh vanilla bean, you simply just slice it down the middle, but ensure that you do not slice it all the way through. Once you've made the slice, take the vanilla bean and crack it open to expose the vanilla bean flavor. Take the vanilla bean and then simply add it to your grenadine mixture and it allow it to boil down with the remainder of the liquid. Next comes the lemon zest. And we just take that lemon and zest it right into there and use as much as you like to taste. Um, it adds a nice acidic balance to the grenadine. But once you're done with the zesting of the lemon, why not just use the juice too? I hate to see anything go to waste. So next comes the fancy schmancy orange blossom water. So you could use a spoon. I simply just take the cap and add one and two. I wouldn't recommend adding more than two capfuls because it is a strong flavor and you may want to taste it first that it might not be quite your cup of tea. So it's not a necessary ingredient, it's just an enhancement that makes it taste a little bit special. Well, our grenadine has come to a nice boil and now what we're going to do is we're going to turn down the heat just a little bit and we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of hibiscus flowers. The hibiscus flowers are dried hibiscus flowers. I may have failed to mention that. But you, you can see they're a beautiful red color. And what that is going to do is it's going to seep right into that hot liquid. And it's just going to add another complexity of flavor that makes this grenadine taste so unique and your cocktails one of a kind. We've added all of the ingredients and now reduce the heat. Now it's time to reduce the liquid. We're going to keep it at this temperature for about 20 to 25 minutes and we're going to allow the mixture of liquid to reduce by about one third so it gets to a consistency of a nice syrup. So we'll see you back 
in about 20, 25 minutes. So the grending is now cooled and you can see it has a nice consistency of a light syrup. Now we need to strain the grenadine to get out the dried hibiscus flowers as well as the vanilla bean. So simply take the mixture, get a strainer, and pour it right in. And you'll see the vanilla bean, you'll see the remainder of the hibiscus flowers. And we let that strain through for a second. And remove the strainer. And voila, we have a beautiful grenadine soup. Damn it, how could I? Grenadine is now bottled and ready for consumption. You know what that means. It's cocktail time. So, skol! To my friends of Facebook, loyal, willing, and able. Now let's get to drinking and all glasses off the table. Cheers until next time.